Hey everyone, I'm Operator Possum, and this is Operation Harsh Doorstop. I found this the other day, surfing YouTube. I got recommended one of Blue Drake 42s videos. If you haven't seen his work, uh, go check out his channel. I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, but anyway, in the video, he was outlining the most recent changes to Operation Harsh Doorstop. As he and his development team, Drakeling Labs, prepare to put the finishing touches on this wonderful gift to the gaming community. It looks amazing. The graphics are beautiful. The sound quality is fantastic. Uh, I'm serious, this game is up there with insurgency when it comes to PTSD-inducing audio. And even though this clip is just from the single-player demo, it's pretty intense. We got enemy contact! Keep them at bay! I'm loading up! I don't see shit! every major theater of war from the last hundred years included in the base game. You like World War One and Two? Check, it's got that. Like Vietnam, got that too. Cold War era? Yep, don't see that in many games. All the way up to modern day, and with a bit of time and effort from the modding community, beyond, and maybe even prior, Blue Drake and Drakeling Labs want all of the modders to go ham on this game. From what I understand, add whatever you want, new game modes, new assets, 
new maps even. And I think if this game gets the traction that it deserves, it is going to be a sight to behold within the next year. I've already seen some Star Wars and Halo content. It's only a matter of time until there's Warhammer and who knows what else, maybe a Civil War era content or something competing with chivalry even. Since the modders are going to have access to the entire dev kit, from what I understand, the only limiting factors are going to be desire and imagination, which really excites me to a level that I can't adequately express. If you look at games like DayZ's modding community and Arma's modding community, the potential is limitless. But even if no one adds anything to it, which for the record I highly doubt would be the case, the game as is is awesome. The weapon animations are on point. The character animations and movement are fantastic. The weapon handling feels smooth. The team at Drakeling Labs did an amazing job with this. And here's the kicker. They're giving it away for free. The entire project was funded with donations and volunteer work. The doers of this wonderful community came together and made something amazing for all of us. It's beautiful, and I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to throw some links down in the description for Blue Drake's community, so you all can head over there and thank the man yourself. Drop a like if you liked the video. Let me know what you think about the project from Drakeling Labs, or my video, or your favorite flavor of ice cream. It will help me grow the channel. Thank you again, and see you next time.